When you first get your Sawgrass SG printer, you'll likely connect it to your computer with the included USB cable. However, if you're low on USB ports, or if you prefer a wireless connection, there are two other ways to connect your Sawgrass printer. You can use an Ethernet cable for wired connection, or you can connect to the printer wirelessly. Setting up your Sawgrass printer with Ethernet is as simple as plugging in the correct cable. Wireless connectivity is a newer feature for Sawgrass printers, so I'll first demonstrate how to connect a wireless network. This process is going to be identical for both the SG500 and SG1000 printers as they have identical controls. So on your Sawgrass printer, you're going to go to Menu. You're going to go down to System Settings. And first, we want to make sure that it's set to wireless. So we're going to go down again to Interface Settings, Network. We're going to go up to LAN Type. And we're just going to make sure that it's set to wireless LAN. You may need to switch it from Ethernet down to wireless LAN. We're going to click OK. It'll say Program, and it's going to take us back. We're going to go back. And now we're going to go to wireless LAN. Going to hit OK. And we're going to choose wireless LAN easy setup. SSID auto search. It's going to search for a network. Uh, we're going to be using this network right here. And then you're going to enter your password. Don't steal my password, guys. For this video, we made our password just a bunch of X's, but of course you could navigate through here to get to your capital letters, numbers, symbols, etc to input your key. Once your password is in, hit accept. And when it's done, it'll say connection succeeded. You can hit exit, escape, escape, basically send it back home, hit menu. And your Wi-Fi blue light will be solid blue instead of blinking. And that's how you know that the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now we're gonna go back into Sawgrass Print Utility and add the printer. Now, if you've already connected your Sawgrass printer via USB, you'll actually have to remove it from your computer and print utility and then reinstall it as a brand new printer. Uh, but since we're setting this up as a new device, it's just going to say no devices and we're going to add device. I'm going to select my printer. I'm going to select network. And it's going to download and install our drivers. We're going to go ahead and accept the agreement. going to add a new printer. And here is where it differs from a traditional connection. We're going to connect printer to port or LAN. And then we're going to search for printers automatically. It says printer and LAN cable are connected. That's OK, even though we are going to uh, through Wi-Fi. Click Next. You can see here SG-1000. Right there, we're going to click Next. Everything looks good. Now, what I like to do is specify Wi-Fi in the printer name, just so I know for my reference. Click Continue. Okay, uh, we don't need to set that now. And we'll restart later. Okay, now that we've clicked finish, we can click I've completed installing the driver. Hit continue. And if you're going to connect additional printers, now's the time, but we're just going to do this one. So I've connected all printers, and I'm going to click done. Okay, now we're going to select our ink type. In this case, my printer does have the VersaFlex ink, so that's what I'm going to be choosing. However, uh, you're going to want to choose whatever ink system is already loaded in your Sawgrass printer. Purchase selection, Heat Press Nation, will unauthorized reseller, and click Done. And so now to verify connection, we're going to go to Settings, Devices, and we see our printer right here, Sawgrass SG-1000 with Wi-Fi, and it has all of our info right here.
Once the driver installation is complete, you're ready to use your SG500 and SG1000 through a wired or wireless network connection with Sawgrass Print Utility. At HeatPress Nation, we offer free lifetime technical support. So if you have any questions or if you need help setting up your Sawgrass printer, please feel free to contact our My Expert support team at support.heatpressnation.com. To learn more about Sawgrass printers and sublimation, please visit our website at heatpressnation.com.